Okay. Bioware. Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Players, any key, 2021 20, 20 cards. Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. Obviously, we are going to st okay. Let's let's check the options language, English VO, title font size, control vibration, cash. What? It close. Mass Effect. Everything looks great around. This is great. Subtitles on, please. Oh, so it oh. Subtitle font size. Where do I put the subtitles on? We have subtitles. Oh, voiceover. Okay, on. Mass Effect, start. So it's a launcher. That game is a launcher for the three games. And each of the three games are remastered. Okay. Is this Coruscant? Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Due to your covert and seven status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Our ID is CDR John Shepard Alliance Marine. Um, Jane Shepard Alliance Marine John Shepard Jane Shepard John Jane John Jane John Jane and a new ID I'm gonna go with John I guess please log in to access your profile no it is choice of classes so it's made with a method in which enzymes cut the carbs into different carbs or something like that <laughs> Or something like that. I love this explanation of his. I remember my philosophy teacher in 1999. I was in the first year and um, of high school. And he would finish every single explanation with or not. Like, I, I remember one of my friends tilted every time he was like... Like, every time that he said or not, my friend... Or not... Or not. Like, and we would we would start to look at him. But it was like, why do you do that? We're all 13 and 14 years old trying to understand. It was not philosophy that we studied, it was the history of philosophers, basically. And it was named philosophy. But it was cool, cool. And um they explained to us concepts that these philosophers explained to them, to, to their pupils. And he would finish with or not, man. Like, what the fuck? Okay, let's go, John. Profile reconstruction complete. Earthborn soul survivor soldier. Soul survivor is always, like, suspicious, right? Once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. This is a pre-2010 game. So I, I'm gonna go l l like fine with veteran here. If I put hardcore insanity, I'm, I'm not going to be able to play this game. How to level up. Of level scaling legendary mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. Experience and talent points progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Classic mode... So there is a new 1 to 30 level. Number of levels is doubled. 
I think I'll stay with legendary mode. Um, is this... Uh, this makes the game easier, right? So the combat difficulty is veteran with an easier level scaling? I'm confused. I think it's exactly this. Why would they make a decision like this? The game was too hard, is that it? I'll go with the new method. Squad power usage determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. Defensive known all. You want legendary mode, but look at all classes first. Subtitles on. Auto save enable tutorials except Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Ooh. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. was reading. This process, I don't know, we call it emelitis. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? <coughs> Oh yeah? So I have to, to restart the game, then I cannot... Oh, I'm pressing escape and nothing is happening. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Can I go back now and choose my class? No, I cannot. Um, um, I think I'm going to close the game and open again.
This process, I don't know, we call it emelitis, can't find any English word for it. It was the only way to have anything that remotely resembles sweetness in the winter. Many of our Christmas foods are made like this. Sweetness in the winter? What the fuck? Sweetness in the winter. Eat a spoon of sugar when it's cold. <laughs> like sugar cold. <laughs> okay, Mass Effect 1. Imagine if I just choose soldier. <laughs> Starts new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So it's new ID, right? Custom mail. Please log in to access name? your profile. Name? Mal. Let's name Shepard. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Spacer colonist earthborn. Spacer. Sugar wasn't luxury we had in the north back in the day. So, okay, yes, I understand. Sugar is a Brazilian thing. But no, 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 it's not Brazilian. It's very common in Brazil. Because fucking sugar cane, right? Actually, the name Brazil is uh, one of the canes that it was here was um, Brazil something. Pau Brasil. <laughs> so, um,. It's it's weird to say this in Portuguese in Portuguese. It's just like saying Brazil dick. <laughs> Whatever. Um, sugar. Very common here, super cheap. Has always been. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonists. You were born and raised on Mindoir, a small border colony in the Atican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindoir. Mindoir? Mindoir? Mindoir. Slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. I'm gonna go and be a spacer. Confirm psychological profile. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell and now you're alone and left to tell the tale. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned your medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Th ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Got the job done. You've been called cold, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I think I'll go soul survivor. Confirm military specialization. Soldier engineer. Adept. What the fuck? Infiltrator. Sentinel. Vanguard. So the engineer has the weird arm. The infiltrator has the weapon of the soldier and the arm of the engineer, right? Yes. The sentinel has the... It's the engineer together with the adept. And the vanguard is the soldier with the adept. So these are the three base classes and these are the hybrids. 
Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train the use of heavy armor. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, decrypt enemy weapons or shields, and kill their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor and these specializing pistols. <gasps> Shall we? Adepts are biotic specialists. Through the upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Retreaters combine combat and attack abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. Guards. Guards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. I think I'm gonna go with the infiltra infiltrator. Looks like me. Like no healing, let's go full aggression, maybe sniper. Right? Or soldier. The use of all weapon types, maybe a good old rifle, like an AR, an automatic rifle. <laughs> I, 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 it's soldier. <laughs> Confirm facial identification. Doesn't matter. Let's be him. Profile reconstruction complete. So I changed it being a spacer. I'm not Earthborn, I'm a spacer. My name is Mo. Identification confirmed. Alright. Good. Now I'll pay attention to you can use all weapons, but all classes specialize in well, weapons. What about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Okay. Now I'm paying attention to shit. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating a transmission sequence. Commander. This is Neptune, right?
That is kind of confusing. Check navigation. Check internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. Halfway paranoid. across the galaxy. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. Commander? You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Please keep up with the joint of Europe. Let's meet your objectives. You know, I just noticed, I don't know what this game is. Please don't be like XCOM. <laughs> like, is it a shooter? Is it like turn-based? I have no idea. That's how much I know Mass Effect. Journal. Prologue on the Norman. You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer of the SSV Normandy. Like my dreams view, the name Lewis Aldist. Speak to the captain. Okay. It's Codex. Summary story summary. Many changes. Systems alliance. Timeline. Dead person shooter. Story driven. Okay. That's relieving. <laughs> I'm strong outpost. That I don't like third person. I would prefer first person. But I played No Man's Sky. So it's like I really enjoyed No Man's Sky. So it's not a problem actually. It's fine. Just XCOM was very niche, very niche. Looks like a great game, great concept, but not for me. Armstrong outpost at the Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. This is 2069. Spoilers. What is spoilers? <laughs> These spoilers? I'm reading the lore! So let's, let's continue reading the lore. 2103, Lowell City in EEO's Cosma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. 37, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates... Okay, I'm, I'm starting to get sleepy, I'm, I'm so sorry. I read all of this, but I don't know what I read. Armstrong outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. Okay. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar. Okay, good, 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 good. Low seeding Eos Cosma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Eldfell Ashland the Energy Corporation demonstrates hidden three fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. Oh. Okay. 42. Construction of Gagarin Station Jump Zero begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. 48. Prospectors discover the Protean ruins at Promethe Planum on Mars. 49. Translation of Protean data leads humans to the Charon Mass Relay, Systems Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. 51. A shipping accident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust from Element Zero. Alliance begins construction of Arcturus Station. 52. Roughly 30% of the children born in Singapore after the Met Zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. 
Systems Alliance begins settlement on Earth of Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Dem Demeter. Com 54. Commander Shepard born. Me. 55. Systems Alliance occupies completed portions of Actorius stations as a headquarters. 56. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic... Oh. Okay, let's go back to the accident. A shipping accident at Singapore International Spaceport exposes downwind communities to containers of dust form element zero. What is being gathered from... Oh no, helium-3 fuel extraction is different. So, let's go back. Some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. 57. Turians encounter human explorers. First contact war. Turians. Occupation and liberation of the human colony of Zhangxi. Zhangxi. Shangxi. Okay, let me see what you guys are talking. No, Star Sung is telling... Uh, New game is spoilers. What? <laughs> uh, what? Where? <laughs> Spoiler that it's third person shooter. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, humans learn potential of biotics. An international effort to try climate zero exposures begin. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. 60. Systems Alliance Parliament format. 65. Humans establish embassy on Citadel. 70. Batarian slavers attack the Alliance colony of Mind Mindwar. Wait, how old am I? Like 40? Here, I am 16. So, Skillian Blitz. Pirates and slavers attack at Elysium, the human capital in the Skylian Verge. 77. Thresher Maws devour the Alliance colony of Akuz. 78. In retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, an Alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Torfan. 83. Current date. So 55 to 85, I'm 28 years old. That's the timeline. Click here. Humanitarian system. Personal history summary. Profile. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. One of your first missions was expedition. Okay. First mission was an expedition to investigate a coos, a lush world of the outs on the outskirts of Alliance space that had suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but there were no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Balls struck, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Fifty marines died on a coos. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. Wait a second. Who the fuck makes a battalion of 51 soldiers? If 50 died, I was a soldier. Right? Or was it like one sergeant and 50 soldiers? One private and 50... Like... <laughs> I'm just being... Okay, too much. Primary, secondary... What's this? What are these buttons? Squad. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent of it or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. You gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Pistols, assault rifles, combat armor. I want here. Oh. I have two points. What's this? Oh, health. Opens up new dialogue options. Opens up new dialogue options. Intimidate, charm. Charm. Fuck the combat armor. We are going to be charming everybody. I'm the soldier. <laughs> you are no marine. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, health. 
experience Paragon Renegade Toggle Helmets and the Talent Points Auto Level Up. Stop. What's this, this ska, squad map? Com room, combat information center, bridge, vehicle, have active complexity, new save. Yeah, let's save, I guess. New save, save game. Sex speedruns. <laughs> exactly! You read my thoughts. So. <laughs> Codex Journal Equipment Equipment. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch the item types. Select an item and click the equip button to assign it. Click on an equipped item's upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the Omni Gel button to break down the selected item into Omni Gel. Continue. Push per second, hit sync, accuracy rating. Menu. No. Calibration. This was a thing, right? <laughs> this was a thing. Wow, I had forgotten that this was a thing. You had to click on calibration. So that's your monitor. <laughs> cool. Gameplay. What is this? Oh, yeah, of course. Can I sit? I'm tired. I'm not tired. Oh, there's a person here. I can barely see. Can I shoot him? What happens if I shoot him? I cannot shoot him. He's unfazed! Imagine you're here like a bullet just scrapes your hairs. <laughs> oh, so... Am I spending bullets? Oh, so the weapon gets like warm. Alright. How do I remove the screen? Okay, no, this changed weapon. They are battle brothers, they have full thrust. <laughs> I told you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. What the fuck did I press? Space bar? Yeah. Space bar! So we don't jump. Okay, I, I, but uh, it's not about the jumping. Where is the E? And am I going to run with the E? It's normally shift and then E. Map, equipment, squad, journal, collect, quick save, combat, shoot, aim, change, blood, melee, throw grenade, holster, weapon, previous. Spacebar Q and E is for companions. What the fuck? Okay. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up.
You don't trust Nihilus? I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. He has a point. Something big is going on. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay, where can I remove the music? Please. Thank you. Maybe I could put like very like ten. It's so low that I can barely hear it. You guys are not going to hear. So I'm going to put 22. More adequate feels like. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Uh -huh. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. 
I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So, we don't have any lines with her, only with him. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> okay, a little... <laughs> too much. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the Beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. So it sounds as if the dialogue wasn't awkward enough. Now there is awkward silence to come <laughs> Well, that's good. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes 
humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. Sorry. Sorry, we sorry. have to keep this low-key. Low-key? Started there. <laughs> no, probably before. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 is that a hint 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. I like the voice acting so far. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. H is so far away. What the hell are those? There you go. Give some alien species. It's strange that I feel disoriented in third person, but I think I'll get used to it in some hours, I guess.
Wait, what? I have like little robots, is that it? Do you have range? I mean, I don't have range for this. Oh. How does the shotgun have more range than the pistol? Alright. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, so it's not open world. There is a path. Or not. Is there a path? Yeah, invisible walls. I just needed to hear you, it's called memories and you can use to buy plus encryption. I'm trying to challenge this both can be required, but if you don't use enough content. Oh shit. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to Did I level up already? I I did. What the fuck? Throw? Barrier? Oh, this is him! It's another person. Decryption. He's a sentinel. Got it. Catch up with you at the dig site. <laughs> Left shift to use your orders to squad hold the right button. Um can I never interact with this again? What mates I have? Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. 
They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Basically, every NPC in this game will know that I never studied history. <laughs> because I will investigate everything always. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Move out. Red skip to go to Scott's screen to certain talents for new squad members. So she's going to be a soul training. Combat armor. Okay. Red soldier has pink boob armor. That's very good. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Pink boob armor. <laughs> Oh at the shit! End of this trench. Change your change the grid escape but check the equipment screen. <laughs> Sorry. Am I not in cover here? Um, hello? Okay. to throw a grenade? <laughs> it was a fucking freeze me! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, who's shooting? Oh. Really attack? We don't loot. Is that the beacon? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Salt rifle, Banshee. Reduce Chomini's gel. And take all. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place. 
place for an what ambush. The fuck? Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Oh, so they're like zombies. Name is Huss. So the weapons have heating. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Some locked objects require decryption of or electronic structures. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the crypture. I'm a joke. Advance to the central core, move, to move the mouse to move around the ring, left click and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Um. Wait, what? Oh, got it. Okay, it was weird. Can I try again? Oh, insufficient... How many? Okay, what the fuck. That was confusing, but I get it. We can talk to them further. Like smoke and death. We thought this world was safe until the Geth <laughs> can try again, I think. Let me try again then. Insufficient Omni Joe. Avenger, right? It's like hacking in real life control. <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, any new game is going to be confusing, so let's play it like that. Saren? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Okay. Betrayal. God. 
was that ship with like the hands ship? Also, I took damage, right? Let's try the menu over right again. Okay. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah. Uh. I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise! It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned, only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. Oh. That awful noise. I'm it was getting emitting tired. some kind of signal as it descended. It <laughs> sounded like this. the shriek Can of the pass? damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but... You probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. I think I'm gonna go back there. Do I have how many gel to oh there's this What? Let's 
you too, Lou. So I cannot rub them. <laughs> Fuck. See if we can try this again. Oh, it's some inverted mouse shit. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. He ordered to put his double his size what? Before the attack. He couldn't have been here. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Manuel's I don't think so. Unsettled. We haven't seen They look normal. We've been hiding in here since the attack. They literally look normal. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I'm sorry, Manuel. I'm still a bit inside. We haven't seen the terrain. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Teleport to your side. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. 
everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. <laughs> Sorry. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't oh, need it. Hydrate. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. High explosive. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Oh. Is this my life that is low? I think it is, right? How do I heal? Let me find how do I heal. I hate it for... <gasps> I might stop. I'm pretty tired, but... <laughs> He's first aid V. Okay. Yeah, like... No... Yeah, silence soothes me. So, are you going to do all three? Yes! I am going to do all three. Got the power wheel, the power wheel. Shift. Let's use the powers and special abilities of your squad. Hold shift and you can drag your powers into the hotkeys. Oh, there's no visible survivor that will be hitting. Oh, okay, cool. Oh my god! What a lot of them. Baby! 
have range for this? Not the middle of a fight. Okay, so it's really hard to have all characters in each one game alive. Okay, we have spoilers here, boys. <laughs> okay, I got from Star Sun that the game depends on your choices. So I'm assuming I'm that maintaining their alive is cool. Who are you shooting? I guess. Oops. Who are you shooting, lady? How can Not I the middle of a this? fight! What the hell do I, uh, oh Who uh, uh, oh Two enemies Also have an enemy here, is that it? There's an enemy here. So this grenade doesn't explode? Oh, okay. Like a long delay. There's some blue goo. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Eighty four is Ricardo, the French cook. No, he's Portuguese that lives in France, and he's a cook. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. that one so he's hiding behind thin air
Okay, it's an old game, I kind of understand. Can I just not have the pistol? Wait, can I even shoot when it's overheated? Okay. Am I missing all of the shots? Is that what this is? Okay, now I identify the, the their life. It's the blue thing. And the red thing was right? Timer. Okay, the game is old and it shows, but I'll, I'll bear it. It's really weird, some commons and the thing was overheating. It's really bizarre. The precision is like really bad, so now I go here and press this. So change their weapons to the storm, the lancer. Let's go through and okay, that's better. Is there more precise? Ouch. What was that? Ow! There was one right here. Also, there's a map. I just noticed that there's a map. Didn't know there was a map. And there's a timer as well. <laughs> there's a map and there's a timer. It's not here. What the fuck? Is the future weapon just get inaccurate? <laughs> Did it work? Oh, charge! <laughs> I deserved like two seconds. <laughs> okay, that was heroic. To be fair, like the interface is very confusing to me, but it's a new game. It's <laughs> it's supposed to be confusing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so what's this? No, I I now I'm seeing the mini map. Okay, what's this?
That's the beacon? That's the beacon, right? Normandy, Sorry. the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. What? Okay, to be fair, this is a 2007 game. Even though it's remastered, I don't know if it is the remastering, but it's very good. Like it's like the scenes are very well played. Start feeling like it. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Boobs. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. And the art direction of this is like incredible. Was this like game of the year? Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. She breasted very boldly. <laughs> you had us worried there, Shepard. That's a chocolate. How are you feeling? So, in Finland and in Netherlands. Is it boobs or ass? Because in Latin America, it's ass and thighs. Boobs are secondary. They're important. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> They're very important. But they are secondary. We need, like, nice hips, thighs, and ass. Like a nice round butt. Is this like this in the Netherlands and in Finland? I don't understand why Americans prefer boobs. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, answer that before we continue here. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field mm. when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Yes, it is. We don't objectify women like that. We appreciate personality. Sure, mister. Her right bulb is bigger than the... Uh, sure, sure, sure. Now let's see, Hikaru. You just played a game, cut the grape, everything. <laughs> Hikaru, Portugal and France. Boobs or ass, and we have we still need Star Sung's opinions. So, um, not a dream of vision. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction. Nothing's really clear. <gasps> hmm. Sorry. I better add this to my report. It may. Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? 
And all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Drink water. Shepard, I need to speak <laughs> with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? Here we go. I won't lie to you, Shepard. A star sun is, is doing the... Nihilus is dead. Beach. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. So... There's a saying, um, okay, I have to go a little, a little earlier to explain this. There's a lot of gay culture in Rio de Janeiro and in Berlin, according to my, the way that I grew up. There are many gay people, and I say this like more like gay men in Berlin and in Rio de Janeiro. And so I know a lot of gay men. I know a lot of gay people. And there is gay culture, and there is a lot of fun in gay culture. <laughs> there are many, many cool and interesting <laughs> terminologies. There is even something that is probably derived from French called bajuba, that is like a language that the gay men in Brazil use that other people don't understand. It is Portuguese, but with terms that it's like it, they don't make any sense. But these terms, they have like translations. Um, I don't remember any. Let me let me see here. I think I can Google this. Hold on a second. I think it's Pajuba. Tanto no Candomblé, uh, not only in Candomblé but also in the LGBT letters. Uh, word, the word Pajuba or Bajuba has the meaning of fofoca, gossip news or news referencing to other houses or something occurred on these circles so the word pajuba has the uh, is a brazilian cryptolect which inserts numerous words and expressions from west african languages i didn't know about this to the portuguese language it is spoken by practitioners of Afro-Brazilian religions, such as Candobal and Umbanda, and by the Brazilian LGBT community. Okay, so, together with Pajuba, there is a lot of um, internal jokes. Why am I saying this? There is... There was one reference... There was one reference that I... Dude! How can I... So, somebody said something... And then I remembered a joke that gay men tell. And then I find it very funny. And I cannot remember. I shouldn't stream Sleepy. <laughs> I'm I want to complete at least this part of the campaign now. But I like how can I forget? Let me look at this. Um, <laughs> how can I fucking forget? Okay. Let me remember why did I start to talk about this? I was I, I was going to try to explain why I was making this joke, and I was going to make a joke. And I know a lot of gay men, and gay men have this very funny and fun culture in Brazil. So if you remove progressivism and wokeism, and you it just have the person i have great friends that happen to be gay and they they have this internal culture that is a lot of fun and there is a something um okay here we go for someone that does not want to talk about that stuff i'm curious now the boobs or ass discussion made you think of gay men mm, yep dude why what was what if, what was it that i was going to say 
that has connections with Pajubana. <laughs> I'm thinking now, I just, like, it, it ran out of my mind. <laughs> it's, oh shit. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's nothing to talk about. Okay, it's a little more culture for you guys. That there's Pajuba. There is a lot of fun in gay culture. And there are jokes that are internal. And f how the fuck do I forget about the joke that I was going to make? You know what? I branch out too much. I start talking about tomatoes. And then I go to like South America because tomatoes never came from Italy. And then I forget about what I was talking about tomatoes, goddammit. Are you coming out to the closet to something because damn you hide well? <laughs> no, I'm not coming out at all. I learned all these years living among communities that have more gay men than normal. This city is not like that. My hometown is like that. And I learned that Rio de Janeiro is very similar. That if you're afraid... Of being, oh no, I'm not. There's high chances that that guy is. <laughs> and now we are in 2023. There's a lot of, there's a lot of positivity. There's a lot of positive things in progressivism that not necessarily is wokeism, like the progressive left. So one of these things is that you shouldn't be ashamed of being gay. But if you're afraid of being gay, or if you see somebody being afraid of being gay or being afraid of being labeled gay. That person has something to hide. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, there's fun in gay culture. It's in the name. Yeah, yeah right? It's Shepard, right? He's kind of good looking. Dude, I how can I fucking forget what I was talking about? I started to make the joke. And I'm like, oh, I think they are not going to understand this. And then I started to speak. And then I wanted to give my piece of culture. And then I completely forgot. So we had so we had her and then she's here. Why is she here? And then um, the guy asks us to talk alone and then the girls go. And then we started to talk to him. You know, Light to Shepherds things look bad. Niles is dead. The beacon was destroying the Geth are invading. Council's going to want answers. I was dreaming, the dreaming was visions. Dude, how can I... I completely forgot. If you remember my words before I started segueing, before I branched out... <laughs> creepy stare. Before I branched out to explain about gay culture in Pajuba in Brazil, if you remember the words that I was saying, maybe I can remember the joke that I'd, I, I was supposed to tell. Like, what the fuck? I think we. the more you talk, you're going to... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I don't care if you confuse me for being gay, and it doesn't matter if you think that I'm gay, it, and it should matter, it doesn't matter. I'm really thinking, I'm really trying to remember what the fuck was the joke. Uh, oh, dude, how can I fucking forget? Okay, this it, it's just bothersome to, re to to forget something like that. I was going to say something and then I forgot. You know what? It's 7 hours 14 minutes. I'm going to take a note. I'm going to take a note like in my WhatsApp. That I missed something. I missed something by like 7 hours and 20 minutes. 12 minutes. I'm going to go back and I'm going to see and listen exactly what I was saying. So that tomorrow I can come here and say what I was saying to you guys because it bothers me so much that I forgot what I was going to fucking say, god damn it. Shepard sitting face next to your talking. <laughs> yeah, he like he does his mind. <laughs> like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pajuba, okay. Mm-hmm. Like he does his mind. Dude, you're growing old, my dude. That's all. It's not that I'm old. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I've been. I. I'm. I woke up. What? What time? Let me see how many hours ago I woke up. It's twenty twenty. It's twenty two. I woke up seventeen hours ago, so I'm a little. Do and I. I'm. I've been working out hard every day. I'm, I'm, it's not like you. I'm not 
very muscular, but I try to be fit, and I work out hard today too. So it it like it hits you in the face like time to sleep, bitch. So it's I'm I'm tired, but I want to play a little more. Let's go here. Uh, like something happens that triggered me to tell a joke, and I started to tell a joke. I forgot about the joke. I explained about the pajuba. Let's let's get over this. Tomorrow, I swear to God, I will remember what was the joke that I was going to say. And I was laughing because it was funny and then I forgot. So, okay, I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Severin. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. Classic. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. <laughs> Tips to your old youngsters. Don't get old. <laughs> don't get old. Nothing good's coming out of that. Just don't. <laughs> so, to be fair, if you say ah in, in your 20s, you grow muscles, you like, you untwitch your muscles you you like fix your uh, joints like everything happens so well when you're like 15 or 20 when you hit 30 it's downhill and it's actually downhill there is uh, uh there are several studies many many papers showing that we um we grow and we metastasize more up to the 30s um, it's like multiply the cells okay so the regeneration of the tissue brain tissue uh, muscle tissue bone tissue every tissue happens naturally and uh, more even if you don't make any effort up to your 30s when you hit 30 of course not 30 exactly it's around 30 around 30 it starts to, to degenerate. That's exactly the word, degenerate. So what happens is that you really have to take care of your health after and during your passage through your 30s, from 29 to 31 or something. Because you have to sleep well, you have to drink water, you have to work. You don't need to work out, not work out. I work out because I like to work out. You have to exercise in general so these things are going to make your life better you're going to have a better brain have going to I, i'm forcing now okay i swear to god i'm forcing i'm sleepy and that's the reason I'm not senile but yeah i'm forcing so if you <laughs> if you exercise well and you drink your water and you rest well and you're in good moods most of the time and you have like an adequate level of stress and you sweat from time to time sex counts you're all good you're going to have a good level of testosterone a good level of growth hormone and these things are going to make your bone density good your muscle mass nice and your brain regeneration very very good so that you don't feel senile before the time this here is just me being sleepy you're calling me a ditch <laughs> i didn't say this the generates here are only sent sick with his mushrooms okay we all have other leg in the grave. Star sang the dead gen. Yes, it did. You said so many times, do not take advice from Streamer's Law. That's co <laughs> That is correct. But, but the thing is that the majority of streamers, especially the most, um, I don't know, successful ones. I'm not successful. I'm like getting, I'm putting myself out of this group. They don't have a fucking nutritional degree. I have. I studied a lot. And my 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 monography was sports. So I really know what I'm talking about. And even like my 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 advisor and the the what do you call the advisor the 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 like the guests that evaluate you? I guess it's like this is a scientific method in all the planets, right? So the in Portuguese is the banca, the a banca, like the table, like they didn't know things that I presented for them. I received a fucking ten in my monography, like 
a lot of people receive them. It's not very hard for you to study hard. <laughs> so I really know what I'm talking about. I give this advice because it's a very realistic advice and people shouldn't regard even me because my knowledge is very good knowledge, but it's updated up to 2004 or five. 18 years have passed and more research has come and I stopped studying nutrition in I graduated in 2000 2005 what am I saying I graduated in 2009 so my my knowledge is up to 2014 ish because I start I stopped studying like I stopped like halted studying around five years after I graduated that's why I said 2005 something made me okay my I'm sleepy I'm so sorry so I am like eight years outdated I keep reading, I read news, and some knowledge is just like very well established, like what is carbohydrates, what is fats, what, what, how the virus interacts, these things. But it's not like I can give you like up the top like knowledge, like you should trust better a doctor, mostly because the doctor will have your exams, will have your history and everything. And I'm here, I just have your words. I just know that Hikado cooks that star is 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 uh, dutch so right so only listen to those streamers who say that <laughs> it's <laughs> so then we are just talking about saturt women boobs and all saturt what is saturt women boobs and all that shit happened what the hell is going on is <laughs> so near no he's saying listen to him and use your time machine to go back 20 years and you'll be fine not 20 years i stopped studying nutrition in 2014 ish so this is like nine years ago it's not like the 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 whole human nutrition changed i know a lot i really know a lot it's just that if there is new research that debunks what i know what i know and and uh, this is rare but it happens i will not know for example in the middle of my graduation there was a huge i graduated from 2003 to 2009 so in the middle of my graduation there was a huge dispute of if soy was good or bad and I studied a lot of lobby about the egg and how the industry lobbies like about fats throughout the decades, especially in the United States, that is very well covered. And like the fat went from a villain to a good boy to a villain again to a good boy again. And now it's very well established that it's not like fats. It's uh, so much more complicated than that. You cannot just blame fats. It's so much more complicated than that. So, like, eggs good. Eggs are good, <laughs> for example, right? But eggs were bad at some point. And uh, I know this because I kept studying. And I don't know if maybe there, like, there is, like, new research that debunks something that I know, but I... I I'm pretty sure not because I keep updated on like the big things and one of these things would be a big thing I would have read so um, oh so now we need to go back on time okay can someone please give me the direction where to go smoke that shit <laughs> call out the drum just tell me which miracle pill I should buy you should drink water you should drink water I learned throughout the whole of nutrition that water is the best cosmetic of all because it cleans your pores from inside out it maintains your organs hydrated, which is super, super, super important. Nothing that you do will help you as much as drinking enough water and more water than necessary as well. Of course, you have like exercises and sleeping well and maintaining a, a mostly good mood and having a decent and adequate level of stress. When I say this, is it's that if you have a very relaxed life, your brain is going to degenerate. If you very, if you work, or if you do like Sudoku, or if you study regularly, or if you read frequently, or if you try to learn a new language, or like if you use your brain, it has a similar effect of the growth hormone exercise on your brain, uh, uh, on, on stopping the degeneration of your brain. So if when you stop using your brain and you're over 30, you tend it's there from from there to being senile. That's the thing. So you have to use your brain and normally studying does it and you have to exercise. These things like they promote the regeneration, the uh, uh, hypertrophy 
of muscles, regeneration of brain cells, and etc. So, water. <laughs> water, okay, but which one is the $60 bottle? Voss! Go for Voss! No, don't go for Voss. Fuck Voss. Like, get the tap water. <laughs> no, don't get the tap water. Filtered water. <laughs> it's the water with ants. It's the water with ants! No, this water has no ants here. I don't see any ants. I clean it. I wash this cup. In a now, actually, I, I, I put away the cup because I'm going to wash later and got a new cup that has no, <laughs> no ants in it and drink some water, please. There's a lot of silence here. Water with coke and coffee? All other water is useless, it doesn't keep him awake. <laughs> oh my god, look at the mushroom guy. We are here talking something serious and then the mushroom guy appears like he he removes everybody from the path again. Hear me out. <laughs> Let's continue. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. Yo, oh, we have we have why. Thanos here. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of <gasps> vision. Sorry. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. I wonder if I could drink mushrooms. <laughs> slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. Okay, I have another story. I know that you guys like the story, so I'm going to tell the story. This story is very famous in my hometown. Not in my hometown, sorry. My 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 circle in my hometown. Um, JK, JK, JK. Though I grew up with no potable tap water, even now I still have weird hesitation of tap water. Um, some countries in Europe that I know of, because I studied, like, at least my economy teacher, I studied economy and nutrition. That was like a weird semester of like just social uh, uh, studies and shit. So he said that Switzerland and other countries, he never said the other countries, which are, and I never researched, have like uh, good tap water. He was talking about taxes and services. So some country, because we have the highest or one of the highest uh, cascades of taxes in the planet we have a lot of taxes in brazil but taxes are not a problem according to my teacher and i agree with him 100 uh he he was mentioning switzerland that they tax the shit out of you but your money is basically for cosmetics and travels and shit like you have health care you have like good water from the tap you have i don't know nice jobs and have good transportation and you have like um i don't know street illumination everything from your taxes and that's a dream scenario really so some places like here where i live the tap water is really good i grew up in a place where the tap water would have a lot of rust in it so you either filter it or you dr basically drink rust and also a lot of con contaminants. So I grew up in a pretty bad place. Like I said before, like my hometown is very bad in the, in the infrastructure. But here I could drink tap water, no problem. Like mostly. And I've seen studies on the, the water distributor here. So it depends on your place, man. You have to take a look. It depends on your place. I was seeing the documentaries, doc not documentaries, sorry. I was seeing videos and, and homemade videos of people filming like fountains and, and water, I don't know, pools around that accident in, in the United States. I don't even remember the, the state anymore. But it was uh, uh, this uh, just scattered a bunch of chemicals through the air and it rained down. So that is bad. Fucking filter water in a place like this. In other places, it's kind of fine. So let's not forget about the story. I'm like water. Water has also the property of making you be awake better with quality more. If you stop drinking water, everything goes to shit. <laughs> so you need to hydrate if you want to be awakened. Coffee helps a lot, obviously, but even coffee without hydration, it doesn't do much. 
there was this story of this this guy that um, had this country house. Man, this was told. This story was told repeatedly in my circles around the year 2001, 2001, 2000, 1999. So uh, this guy had this country house, and he used to go there to his country house, and they would get um, some mushrooms. Exactly the story of the mushrooms. Okay, scientific. And he would blend the mushrooms and make some juice, some fucking liquid thing, some... He would pour something, like water, milk, whatever. I don't know what it is. It was not in the story, <laughs> like, what it was. I just know that they blend the mushrooms and made, like, a vitamin. Oh, yeah, they used the word vitamin. Vitamin in Brazil is when you mix your, like, avocado, milk, peanuts, sugar. See, it's... it's we call it vitamin. So they made vitamin of mi mushrooms, so it probably involved milk. And they would drink like little cups and they would be like uh, tripping for hours. And it would be fun and they would go home later. This small group of friends. What? <laughs> so funny. I mean, I, I laughed a lot. It will probably f uh, sound weird now here. So uh, then. This weekend, his father visits. They made a full cup of blender of the, the mushroom juice. And they drink this little cup, this shot cup, and they are out in the field, just like, really tripping. Uh, it was deeply hallucinogen, according to what I know from the story, right? And then his father makes a surprise appearance. Then they are the whole day out, right, in the fields. And then they are just tripping and like they, they go out in the morning, they get this field with this beautiful view. And then by uh, close to the sunset, are you talking about Palestine, Ohio? I think it was, yeah, I think it's Palestine, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Think Chop, how are you doing? Uh, East Palestine. We have a really good tap water as well. And when I go hiking in the north, I can drink from rivers and even lakes. Yeah, bro, it's smoothie, mushroom smoothie. Yeah, I like a mushroom smoothie, exactly. So when they come back close to the sunset, to the house, they start to hear somebody shouting, Dragons! Dragons! And it's like three friends, the owner of the house and two friends. And they, they're like, what the fuck is this? So they go to the house in the kitchen, like cornered in a corner, like crouched and, and like defending himself, is the, the elder, like an elder, an elderly man, the father of the owner of the, the country house. He had gone to the country house to a surprise visit. He saw the, the, the fucking cup, the blender cup. He served a full like bowl like a full mug, drank it all, kind of fast, the thing takes some time to hit, sweet, milky, and he, he, like, they said that he tripped for more than a day, so he tripped that, that whole day, he was sweating, then he felt in kind of a trance of a sleep, and then they could sleep, and then they woke up with his shouts, and then he tripped for more like 12 hours or something after he woke up. So he tripped, slept, woke up tripping, tripped for 12 hours-ish, then woke up. And they had cleaned the whole house. They had disappeared the mushrooms. This was, the tale was told in like the 2000s, 1999. So this was probably one or two years ago. So we are talking about 1997 here. At least in Brazil, it was still a huge taboo. Any drugs. Still is today. But, it, like, imagine 25 years ago. Like, huge taboo. And um, they he, they never told him. <laughs> like, they, they they took him to the hospital when the symptoms were starting to cool off. And then they, they explained the situation to the, to the nurse and all. And the nurse kind of covered for them. <laughs> So, yeah, 
that and I knew the guy that knew the guy. So I, I one day I, I asked the guy and he's like dudes, no. Don't don't talk about this please. <laughs> We're talking about my father here. Do not I'm like, oh shit, I'm sorry. I was fifteen years old. I was kind of no notion. I'm I'm like oh, okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Dude, imagine this shit. So smoothie, mushroom smoothie, sounds fun. Uh, yeah, like imagine this. Let me go a little bit more. I'm pretty tired. I'm going to to stop in what I don't know, five ten minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty tired here. We need to report this to the council shepherds. Um, what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad water. dream. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Hospitalizer emergency room. I don't know. I never got any any more details on the story. I know that they took him to the hospital or the emergency room, one of the two, I don't remember exactly. And somebody covered for them. Because if they measure right, it's very clear like hallucinogens, it, it takes months, some weeks or months to take out to be out of your system. So it's like big taboo and they, they like kind of cover it for him. I remember like, look at me telling stories here. When I was in the last semester of, of the graduation, we have, we don't have residency. I don't know if the word is residency for medics in other countries, but it is residency in Brazilian Portuguese. So we have a kind of a res residency as nutritionists. The doctors, they actually spend the whole day in the, the hospital. And um, I spent half of a day in the hospital. I would go there like... I would arrive 10 a.m. And I would leave something like 6 p.m. And I would have lunch there. And I would like be taking care of patients and be looking at the, the sheets, everything. And um, it's in the... In the there are many, many like grave disease hospitals in, in Belém, and one of them is the university's hospital. So he was in this. So there's this ward of AIDS uh, patients, and I was in the time of visiting. Uh, after I left one with tuberculosis, I went to the AIDS one, and the first thing the guy said to me, he said, "Look, my family is coming to visit today." They don't know. They don't know I'm gay. They don't know I have AIDS. They think I have like a, a, a breathing problem. So please cover for me. The doctors know. Now you're a new guy here. You have to know this immediately. I'm like, okay, right away. And then I started to, to see him. Like nothing special. It's just like vitamins. Like eat well. Take your like cocktail. And that's it. At least we, we say... <laughs> This might sound weird, but we say cocktail in Brazilian Portuguese for a group of medicines, okay? Like a, a, like a bunch of pills and shots. It's this group is a cocktail. I don't know if it's like this in English. How it is in Finn? How it is in, 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 in Dutch? So whatever. Um, and um, I had to cover for him. <laughs> Just like the nurse, that nurse covered for the, the boy it's like a boy who was like 18 years old or 19 and his father couldn't know he was fucking going to the country house to wander the fields like super high in mushroom juice. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you get AIDS by having cocktail. <laughs> look, look at fucking Team Chow. Oh my god. It's okay, we expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. 
Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. So I always get 24 experience. Oh, I have six points? Oh, I cannot talk anymore. I can't intimidate. Let's fucking intimidate. What's the soldier? Health. And regen. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> cocktail of med. Same here in USA. Oh, nice, nice. I think at least some healthcare call that cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a cocktail. It's not a cock in USA. <laughs> at least in Brazilian Portuguese, it's a bad word to say tail. Like the word tail in Brazilian Portuguese is like the word ass. Not exactly a bad word, but can be a bad word. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. I think... And this is a polemic decision. But I think... Being very sincere... The combat here is garbage. Very bad. Shit. I'm going to put the difficulty to very easy... Because the RPG elements and the story are the opposite of the combat. I hope Mass Effect 2 and 3 are better. Because this little show of combat was really bad. Maybe I have the wrong impression. But it looks that way. I'm tired and sleepy. That could have influenced too. But I, 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 being very sincere, it's terrible. So I think I'm going to just play in the very easy difficulty or something so that I can really enjoy the story because the voice acting is amazing I don't know if there's more cap but even the movements and animations looks, looks good and this is a what? 16 year old game? I'm, I mean I'm really impressed and this is, this is really cool so okay we couldn't have done it without you Williams thanks commander I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Pargo. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. 
What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Okay, it's a there's a lot of complications. Side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. I knew I had... Uh, you know what? This is... I have to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> I should go. So, Goodbye, Commander. Um, we are on veteran, I think. Veteran. Because I, I like to play at least in medium difficulty. And it, it this looks like medium. But games pre-2010, when it's hard, it's like hard. It's like fucking hard. Like really hard. So I didn't want to come to hardcore insanity. I, I went to veteran. But um, maybe the combat is not bad. Maybe it's, it's 2007 combat. Maybe it was great for 2007. Like, what did we had? Did, did we have... I think we had, what? Half-Life 2? Like, Quake 3? Some Doom games? I don't really remember exactly... Like, I, I cannot position in time. Like, other shooters, to put this in perspective. But... Come on. Like, we have good shooters nowadays. It's kind of hard to go down. Just like I went from Witcher 3 to Skyrim. In Skyrim, even though I liked playing bow, melee is like really bad. You need to mod the game or else it, it really shows like how old it is. So here we have an old game. But the RPG elements are really good, man. And it's a shame that I haven't played this before. There are how many RPGs are there that I like had missed? This is crazy. Uh today to today or yesterday Elon Musk retweeted or tweeted about New Vegas man <laughs> New Vegas was a, is a really influential game god damn it like a lot of respect for Bethesda I will finish Starfield but not now like I need to give it some time <laughs> and for this game as well let me put in um, casual and legendary mode seems okay and I'm going to save the game, man. I need to go to sleep. Maybe part of it is the stress of dying. I died, chop. I was doing a breach in a tier 11 map, nothing much. And then my, I was, I'm fully, was, am, whatever. Fully specced into um, breach nodes in the Atlas passive. So there's much more chances that uh, um, a breach lord would appear and toll appears. Toll and Ash are very, very deadly. Very deadly. So Ash has this Shock Nova and Toll has this uh, Frostbolt Barrage. So I, I died. I tried to go around him and then I died so f It was so fast. It looked, it felt like a one shot, but it was obviously not a one shot. So which chief could you on? Veteran bosses and sub bosses scaled up based on player level. Most enemies have special protection. So yeah, man, I. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to leave the game on Veteran. Because tomorrow is a new day. Maybe tomorrow, in a different uh, uh, scenario of combat, and not being sleepy, maybe I enjoy it. But it at, like everything here felt off. Like the range of the weapons, um, if it is hitting or not, um, that, that's, I don't know, many things felt off. If you that are watching me right now played Mass Effect in 2007, don't get offended. We are in 2023 and that's my first contact with this game. So it's, it's really off. I'm telling you. So, if it is still off tomorrow, then I put all the way to casual so that the fight scenes are just secondary and I can just focus on the RPG. And then in Mass Effect 2, we see what happens, for example.
Dude, it's been a great stream. Seven hours, fifty-one minutes. I keep looking at hours, but it was it was great. We laughed a lot. Uh, we saw some good food. I died in Path of Exile. That's not fortunate. It was me being. I, I was being daring. I'm like, ah, the build is so tanky. I can do this. No, no. There are some. There are some thresholds that you don't cross, and I I crossed a fucking threshold, and um, died. Got pissed. Probably got more tired because of the, excess, the spike of stress of dying. We are here on Mass Effect that is, is a surprisingly good RPG, man. I'm really impre I barely played, but the, the initial part is really good. And there's something that really is the opposite of Bethesda. Even though I have a lot of respect for Bethesda games, I really am respectful and I, I really like many of their RPG elements but their conversations are really off. Like, they have weird pauses that shouldn't be happening in 2023. And here, 2007 game is just seamless. You click, it goes. And then the, the responses are realistic, just like a normal human conversation. It's, it's really cool. So, Ricardo did all 100%. That's, that's really cool, man. That's really cool. I, I, I can't wait to play it more. I think you should go normal, just one step down and reevaluate. Okay, okay. Well, it looks like a good uh, advice. So, yeah, I'm going to leave now here. I see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Drink water, smile, be awesome. Sorry for the bump microphone. I'll be here tomorrow, a little less tired. Work out, exercise. Especially if you're over 30, or else your brain is the degenerating. You're not a degenerate, uh, apart from sentencing. And um, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Thanks, chat, chat. Uh, bye. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. And see you tomorrow. And pineapple pizza is is ungodly. Just no.